Hey everyone! I hope no, 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 what was that booby shake thing? So Tyler did the same thing in the last video, I don't know why. Okay. No, you can't address the camera like you're gonna add it in. <laughs> okay, ready? Sat. It is gonna be added in. Ready? Sat. Hey everyone! Hi. Hello. What is that? I'm trying different voices. Okay, let's go again. Be fun because it's boring. <laughs> I, if someone tuned in and said hello and they were going to give me advo advice, I would not take it from someone who sounds like a murderer. Hey everyone! Hello! I hope you're well and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, my name is Seppi and today I'm joined by my special guest, my sister Sol. Hello! Um, hello! A, lo a lot of you guys love Sol. Hello! A lot of you guys hello. love Sol. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Please, sorry. Honestly, <laughs> I make myself laugh. Oh. Are you crying of laughter? Yeah. And you saying hello? Okay, that's good. Sorry. As you can see from the title of today's video, we are going, and this might actually be the start of a series. So let us know if you like it. If you do, give it a thumbs up. We are going to be starting to answer your problems, questions, and dilemmas anonymously. So all you have to do. Um, is send in your questions. I'll probably do the link on Sundays, but in case I don't, make sure you follow me on Instagram. It's Persian Bunny on Instagram, and you send in your questions. You can either DM it to me, but most likely, if you see it on my story, I'll probably see it much easier. Uh, so, kind of like a agony on Sundays, but we need a name that has Seppi in it in the title. Seppi Aunt, Seppi Aunt Sundays. You guys are probably Seppi better. On, Seppi on Sundays. Seppi on Sundays. Yeah. Seppi. And then you just answer everyone's problems. Mm -hmm. And then you do Sundays. it with a family member. What do you guys think? So every Sunday she does this and then she gets a different family member to help. I think that sounds uh, cool. Yeah. We like it. If you guys so like every that Sunday, idea, let us know in the comments and also give us a video a genius. thumbs up. genius. You are a genius. Genius. <laughs> My mom has made us green tea with rose and she has offered us the Iranian teapot. Does everyone else do this? <laughs> do you guys have a little tanob, a nas attached a string to the lid. Your, the lid of your teapot and then to the handle so that it does if okay, it I'm falls gonna, off it it's attached? It's heavy. It's pretty genius. Look. Genius. But yeah, we've got our tea, we're going to sip tea, we're going to spill the beans and we're going to answer your questions. If we can relate to any of them, we shall relate to them and we will tell you guys the best way to tackle this. Okay. My cousin just goes so excited for this on the question section. Okay. Oh wow, there's loads now. Okay. Someone has said, how can I get a girl? And then they have gone on to say, how can I get a Persian girlfriend? So would you like to take the lead on this one or shall I? You do this one. Okay, so how can you get a girl? Um, I can answer things... the first part. Go. Be confident. Okay. You need to, this goes for both female and male. You need to love yourself before you can ask anyone else to love you. Uh, with the confidence thing, you can fake it till you make it. You really can. So act like you're confident and you'll eventually be confident. I do think confidence is so attractive in both males and females. It's not a sign of being arrogant, don't no. get that wrong. It's a sign of being comfortable in yourself and being comfortable in yourself is the most important thing. Um, so to get a girlfriend, the easiest thing to do is A, to put yourself in an environment where you are around girls, whether that be like in your school, after school activities, make sure it's doing something that you like or if you're a bit older, um, in, again, it's technically like after work activities. So the gym. Going to the gym, I was going to say, is one of them. What? What? Sorry, do you so this way you can work out together. Apparently couples who work out together stay together. Mm. Apparently so, I don't know. Third thing... I, I think couples who eat together stay together. <laughs> Third thing I would say is um, through other friends. So by socialising, you will meet friends through excuse me. your other friends because you guys will have stuff in common. So be sorry, I need to cut you out again. I really think that we have a responsibility for other people. If I see a friend of mine that's single, and I know someone else that they'd be a good match for with. I think it's my responsibility to introduce them. You are responsible for other people's happiness. If you can make someone else happy, why not? It requires a little effort. I and it comes back to you. 
yeah i think those are really good ways to meet a girl and another thing i would say is i know you said you want a persian girlfriend person who sent this in miss mr or miss anonymous um but don't be too fixated on where the nationality of the person you want to be with is from. Although if you are Iranian and you think, oh, it's better like in terms of you understanding each other's cultures, and there is a lot of pros of dating someone from the same culture, as in that's that's not deniable. But like as in don't don't limit fixate. yourself or fixate on it because there are so many incredible people in the world who are not Iranian. Um and you don't want same way there are loads of Iranian, yeah. incredible Iranian people, but I'm just saying, you know, you never know who your soulmate is, so don't fixate on them, on them being Iranian. But yeah, I think going out, socialising, and then when you do see someone who you, who you like or could potentially... Blah, 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 blah. Someone that you like or potentially could like, don't be afraid to go up to them and talk to them, and because... How, the worst how thing they can do is say no. And I'll you'll be, honest, be in exactly you the same position as you were before. That's uh, it. Yeah, and if they're mean about it, then it just goes to show you that they, they weren't, weren't for you, you anyway. Like, as in, I've, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've been asked out by one of my friends, like, quite a few times. And I admire him. Now I'm going to sip my tea. <laughs> I, what's funny is, I want to know which friend you think it is. <laughs> yeah. He's one of them. Oh. Oh, look at me. No. I'm so happy. No. Everybody asks me. Oh. That's not true. I don't get asked that a lot, but sometimes when you're no. when you're friends with people, double digits on a day. No. As in, I don't count Instagram DMs. I think in real life I barely get asked out. We're talking about this person now. Get back. Okay. For example, like I I've, I've been asked out by one of my friends before, like once or twice, I would say over like a few years, and I've never like I've never felt the same way about him, but I would never make him feel bad about that and I would never make him feel awkward about that. And I think that if if a girl does do that to you, then it she, speaks more about yeah, her than then it, it does, does about you. you. And if, if she goes and tells people, oh my God, like he asked me out and like- Big hoo -ha. Um, Yeah, so what? Like what, you're never gonna ask anyone out? Have that confidence, do it. So the next question is how do I, how to get rid of acne scars? Um, have you guys heard of bio oil? I don't think bio, bio oil, oil works. reduces the scars. However, ostrich oil works miracles, as in miracles. But you have to be sure that it's genuine ostrich oil. Uh, I One thing that I've really found is a cutting out sugar stops you from getting more spots, in my opinion. Okay. Um, because you can scar and cutting out nuts, a lot nuts, of nuts. Yeah, it's warm exactly. food. So scar, uh, so sugar and nuts cut them out. Second of all, I love the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate mm, Oil. It that's works really so well. Good, actually. It c I had a line of scars. I fair enough. I didn't have like acne scarring where it's deep, and we've not suffered from that either of us. Be able to give advice in that sense. But in terms of like red discoloration, pigmentation scarring, we've suffered from. And for me, Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Oil Concentrate yeah, works. Yeah, I've used it. It's it really, really good, works. Actually. So yeah. if any of you guys have pigmentation, I recommend that. How to get over an X. This one's difficult. Uh, Would you like to take the lead on this? Okay. You know, we've all been there where you hurt so bad that you literally want to rip your heart out and cut, like, hug it better. Everyone has. The best thing to do is not to obsess over them. So, delete, remove any photos, remove anything that reminds you of them. So, remove any, like, signs. If you have mutual friends you don't need to be seeing them for a little while just cut out anything that's a connection with them so in my opinion i don't fully agree with Sol. i don't believe you should delete photos and stuff like that um i think the healthiest thing to do to get over an ex is first of all unfollow them on instagram and yes snap all social media snapchat. even if you're on good terms like i'm gonna be honest with you guys even if you're on good terms then explain to them on good terms I shouldn't be watching you move on with your life because it hurts. Same way you shouldn't watch me move on with my life because it hurts. And plus, you don't know if what they're putting up is just to get your attention or if it's actually real. Um, and so it's not good for you. So unfollowing them on social media is, in my opinion, the first most important step. Um, the second most important step is if you've lost all your friends, because I've seen so many of my 
friends who've said I feel alone like straight after a breakup because they spent so much time with their boyfriend that they feel like they've lost all their friends now that they're single um so try and make new friends or rekindle your old friendships just reach out to people and be like hey do you want to go for lunch do you want to go for dinner and try and fill up that time that you used to spend with them with other people because that gets you out the house it gets you talking to other people and it stops you talking about them when you go out with these new people and you go out with your friends do not sit down and talk about your ex because it's not going to get you anywhere other than feeling more hurt and it's hard if something happens don't get me wrong if something like if they do something don't feel like oh my god i can't talk about them this is it though you want to tell people because you're hurting so bad yeah you want someone to say something or do something to change your scenario to, yeah to change your scenario to make you feel better but the truth is no one can no one there can. is no magic potion there the best thing that the best thing that time. happens to you is time and also summer and i know this sounds so stupid i guess it sucks if you break up at the end of summer because you have to wait a whole year but I promise you, summer makes um, breakups. I don't think so, it's uh, in my I opinion, think summer makes seasons, you summer make makes a happen. breakup so much easier because you have that time to um, focus on yourself. Whereas, like when you are constantly at work or at school or something, then you can't um, kind of just go off and think about you. I don't know. I, in my opinion, summer makes it. But better. don't think that you have to wait. And or summer to get over. No, you don't have to wait till now. summer. No, you can do it now. But also, at the same time, I think it does take time. So if it's been a few months and you're like, oh my god, I'm still thinking about them, know that like it's natural. Like you will probably still think about them until you find someone else that you really like. In my opinion, yeah. right? It's true because like you're gonna, you're gonna hit like your girl, your ex girlfriend or your ex boyfriend, whoever they are. Like they were the lo previous most significant person. So until you find someone else who you are that of obsessed with in that way then they're going to be who you're constantly going to compare to or think about so don't worry about it in that sense and be and kind, kind to yourself. yourself don't yeah, put pressure on yourself. Kind to yourself and last one go gym gym releases really good endorphins it gets your revenge body back you know not that there's any like harshness or any problems with your ex I don't It'll know be nice. scenarios but it, there's no there's no problems with you know your ex whipping out a photo of you and being like that hottie is my ex you know <laughs> so so yeah that's in my opinion those are all the top tips that we have for a breakup yeah do you have anything else you want to add just love yourself and it'll come it's so true. what's meant to be yours will not escape you so next one this one is a bit of a difficult topic should a person trust their boyfriend with their pictures especially a bit inappropriate pictures can i answer this nah not that you don't trust them but there's a thin line between love and hate. You should treat your best friend, the love of your life, with the same mentality that one day they could be your enemy. And you should treat your enemy with, this, with the mentality that one day they would be your best friend. So you don't want to do something to your enemy that later on when you're friends you'll be ashamed of. And you don't want to give someone else the power. Not just that. What if someone else takes their phone or has a hold of their phone? What if they're drunk? We all make mistakes. Why put yourself in the lion's mouth? I totally agree with Sol. So I think living in the UK um, and also just in this generation of social media and everything, um, sending like pics, people sending pics is so frequent. My friends talk about it all the time. I'm going to be honest here and share something about myself personally I've never ever done that and the reason for that I was lucky enough that I had older sisters to explain this to me before it was ever of that age but it's just that you shouldn't or feel bad if you have by the way I'm not saying this to make you feel bad if you have but maybe just you'll make know you, for the future maybe that's make it. you aware and maybe not everyone agrees with this and that's that's fine that's your opinion but in, in my opinion like you if someone is with you then they will see whatever is in that picture in real life to appreciate it. They don't need a, a picture. A picture is something where if you're not with that person anymore, they still have a hold of that. And I just don't think that that's something that anyone could have. Not even, I don't even think you should, your husband should have photos of you And like don't that. be shy to say, Tulu, that yeah. was a good knack on him. Don't be shy to yeah. say no. I don't want this. And if you love and respect me enough, you understand that I don't. Yeah, as in it we, has nothing to do with me not trusting you because I do, and that's why I'm with you. It's about it's, I just don't like it. Yeah, I think it's all to do with your own like mentality on this. I know friends who are completely different, but if you guys are messaging us and asking for our opinion, we share the same opinion because 
we just do. Uh, <laughs> we're sisters, we have the same opinion, and our opinion is don't send out photos of yourself or videos of yourself or allow someone to take photos or videos of yourself because you don't know you can, you don't know who you not that you don't know who you can trust I, I don't know how to phrase it without offending people's partners because obviously no one wants to offend their it's partner it's not even just their it's partner just about, there's been times where people's phones have been hacked yeah your phone some, someone's phone gets hacked iCloud Oh, like people get a hold of like your partner's phone when everyone's on a night out or something. Don't create a headache. Yeah, um, there's no need. Yeah, just do it. Take mental Don't. pictures. Mental pictures for sure. Okay, I love this one. Someone said, I love my best friend's sibling, but I don't know what to do. Should I tell my best friend I like his sibling or hide this fact? Mm. Does the sibling like you back? That is very true. Because what's the point of rocking the boat if nothing's going to come of it? I personally, um, I wouldn't want to hurt my friendship with my friend if, um, like Saul said, it's not reciprocated. That's awkward. But if it's reciprocated then between the two of you and you both like each other, then I think um, your best friend should understand and would want you to be... Would want You'd you think, and, right? You would want you and, and their sibling to be happy together so I would then be like hey listen like me and your See, brother or I'm... me and your sister um really get along and do you mind if we like chill together a bit or if you if you do like if you are friendly with with the sibling why don't you be like why don't you ask your sister because they can't get mad at their sister or their brother do you know what I mean mm, I wouldn't do it like that I'd if you both like each other, I'd date for a couple of months. So you cannot date on the sly. Uh, no. I would date for a so, couple of months. Oh to... my god, we're so different here. No, I would, I would date for a couple of months to make sure that we're both on the same level. And then once I know we're sure, then I'd go and tell my best friend, like, hey. Uh, I wouldn't because imagine even you dated for two months and you weren't on the same level. Then you won't say anything again. You would not tell your best friend, hey, I dated your brother for two no. months. No, I couldn't do that. Um, I think for me, like my friendships are so like important to me. I wouldn't want to like date someone who my friend. I feel like there's so many fish in the sea, yeah. So like I would never like, for example, if my friend has like history, my best friend has history with someone in any shape or form. I would never go after that person. But siblings, obviously, they don't have history with them, so that's a different story. You can talk about it, and you can be like, hey, kind of like your sibling. But you know, it would be really sucky if it was like a male friend and then the female friend and it was her sister uh, huh like if it was a boy yeah and then his friend was female and it was his younger sister that he liked it was us two yeah and one of like my friends or one of your friends liked me or you uh, okay so as in Let's say Sol, Sol's 36, I'm 22, so you're saying a guy friend of yours liked me. Yeah. So I've had guy friends of yours come on to me before. Yeah, actually, perverts. Yeah, they, as in, like, you know what was grimy was, like, it was literally the moment I turned 18. <laughs> it was so grimy. <laughs> Who literally, like, you're a perv, bye. <laughs> and that's why Sol doesn't have friends. <laughs> yeah, but, but like, hmm. sips too. How do you deal with a cheater? I want to answer that one. So, I've personally never been cheated on. So I, I wouldn't be able to, like, give a, give a, what's it called? A personal experience. But I think um, if someone is, and this is not just in relationships, um, this in is in any friendships as well. In yeah. In friendships as well, like someone going behind your back and yeah. hanging out with your, with someone who doesn't want well for you or talks badly about you behind your back. Um, it's a no. In my opinion, what I look for in any kind of friendship or relationship in any way is trust and loyalty. If we do not have these two things, we have nothing. Then we have nothing. Like nothing. Let me tell you something. Like when I'm in a relationship, you would not catch me texting someone 24 7 and be like, where are you? What are you doing? Who are you sitting with? Like blah blah blah. If you don't trust each other, we shouldn't even be together, in my no, opinion. I agree. So if someone 
breaks that respect that you give them by trusting them and being loyal to them, then they don't deserve a part in your life and you should never regret telling them goodbye. Because the fact that they are if being they unloyal did it to once, you, they'll do it again. Yeah, if they're doing being unloyal to you, even no matter if they think they're gonna learn from it or blah 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 blah, let them learn for the next person. They are not gonna get a trial on you again. This is if it happens to you once, if it happens to you twice, if it happens to you many times, this is not a reflection on you. Yeah, definitely. It not. isn't. It's a reflection it's on a them. Reflection on them. It's not you choosing a bad guy or a bad girl. Yeah, a bad guy or a bad girl. They're just you got. It's not even that you got unlucky. You got lucky. You got <laughs> lucky because you found out. Yeah. And they've just made room for the next person who's gonna appreciate just how wonderful you are. And they would come along. They really would come along. Yeah. And you and don't. They would be you deserve. Away. You and you just have to feel comfortable. I think that's the most important thing is the reason why you want trust and, and loyalty and respect is because you deserve to feel those things back and you, you have to be a reflection. In my opinion, in relationships, life in relationships is a two-way street. If I do something for you, um, then I don't expect it back exactly the same for anything other than trust, loyalty and respect. Yeah, and guys, just for a single second, you have to think that if you're the other person, so if, you're the third party and you know that there's a guy or a girl that's in a relationship and they're hitting on you, step back from it. You're better than that. You're better than that to do than to do that to another human being. You do not want to be the cause and I of someone yeah. else's tears. I wanna say you don't want to be the cause of someone's heartache. It doesn't matter if you don't know them. Mm, it's very true. I wanna say these days got like guys and girls can be very sneaky and like not tell you that they're in a relationship and don't beat yourself up if you had no idea about it. But once you do find out about it, don't Wash even your hands off. don't even feel like you have to go and explain yourself like that. Just remove yourself from the situation in my opinion because you don't know them anything day, yeah at the end of the day karma will work for the person who put you in that situation it won't work on you if you had no idea so don't freak yourself out about it in that sense and if you are aware of the situation don't put yourself into that situation to begin with you do not want that i believe in karma i yeah. so i believe in energy and energy is karma right and so karma is not a bitch karma is only a bitch if you were a bitch yeah and like karma is such a good thing because if you're a good person and you love and you want the best for everyone you will get that reflected back into your life a million times and i've seen that myself and that will make you so much more happier as a person yeah and I think that is the last topic that we're going to talk about. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to Sol for filming this with me. Thank you, if you and If you guys enjoyed this video, then please give us a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, give us a thumbs up regardless. <laughs> and subscribe to us down below. And if you want us to film this again, definitely give it a thumbs up. That would give us a... a Actually, uh, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Persian Bunny and my snap is Seppi Samoy. But on Instagram is where you guys can send me your questions for the next time we do this. Do it with mommy. You need to do it with mommy. Mommy's savage. <laughs> okay. She's funny. We love you guys so much and we'll see you next time. Bye.